welcome to Yesu Mofra Downfall. It's a great and exciting channel. Hello guys, welcome to Yesu Mofra Downfall. It's another Sunday and I'm so excited to be in your homes or wherever you find yourself. Are you living your life just like Jesus? Talking like Jesus? Walking like Jesus? Even dressing like Jesus? Remember, Jesus is coming again very soon. And we need to be super, super ready for his coming. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after the song. Guys, do you remember the six-month anniversary activity? By God's grace, we got six wonderful winners. And all six have received their beautiful gift. God bless you so much for participating. Guys, I would like to teach you a song, a very simple and easy song. Here it goes. Our generation shall praise your name. 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 Simple, right? The second stanza goes like this. My generation shall praise your name. 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 It's very easy and now that you have grasped it you're gonna go very fast is that okay let's try it our generation shall praise your name 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 my generation shall praise your name. 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 It's a very beautiful song. Our generation will always praise the name of the Lord. So don't be left out. Always praise the name of the Lord. Our memory verse for today is taken from Luke chapter 11, verse 28. That was the memory verse for last week. I hope you've not forgotten. Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Amen. What did we learn last week? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody who can remind us of our last week's lesson? Anyway, you shouldn't forget what we learn every Sunday. Like our memory verse says, Blessed are those who hear the word of the Lord and obey it. How can you obey it if you have forgotten? So don't forget what you learn on here. Are you ready for today's Bible story? Get your Bibles ready because mine is here and let's share the wonderful, wonderful word of the Lord. Our Bible story for today is titled, Ezra Teaches God's People. Ezra Teaches God's People. And our scripture test is taken from the book of Ezra. Ezra is a book in the Old Testament. It is between 2 Chronicles and the book of Nehemiah, all in the Old Testament. You're going to learn more about the books of the Bible next week. Let's have our Bible story. Over the years, some of the kings who came after Josiah did evil in the sight of the Lord. And because God's people refused to obey him, God let them be captured by the Babylonians. During this time, Solomon's temple was destroyed. However, the temple was eventually rebuilt during the reign of Artaxerxes. It was Artaxerxes who sent Ezra to Jerusalem. Artaxerxes didn't believe in God, but he still did not want God to be angry with him. 
So he sent Ezra to Jerusalem to teach the people to obey God's laws and to appoint fair and right charges to uphold God's laws. Ezra led over a thousand people back to Jerusalem from Babylon. Our Bible story for today is titled, Ezra Teaches God's People. And our scripture text is taken from the book of Ezra, which is in the Old Testament. Ezra is between 2 Chronicles and the book of Nehemiah, all in the Old Testament. We'll learn more about the books of the Bible next week. So Ezra chapter 7, verse 6 to 10, verse 25, verse 27, chapter 9, verse 6, and chapter 10, verse 1. Let's have the word of the Lord. This Ezra came up from Babylon. He was a teacher well versed in the law of Moses, which the Lord, the God of Israel, had given. The king had granted him everything he asked, for the hand of the Lord his God was on him. Some of the Israelites, including priests, Levites, musicians, gatekeepers, and temple servants also came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. Ezra arrived in Jerusalem in the fifth month of the seventh year of the king. He had begun his journey from Babylon on the first day of the first month, and he arrived in Jerusalem on the first day of the fifth month, for the gracious hand of his God was on him. For Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. And you, Ezra, in accordance with the wisdom of your God, which you possess, appoint magistrates and judges to administer justice to all the people of trans effort all who know the laws of your God, and you are to teach anyone who do not know them. Praise to the Lord, the God of our ancestors, who has put it into the king's heart to bring honor to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem in this way. And prayed, I am too ashamed and disgraced by God to lift up my face to you because our sins are higher than our heads and our guilt has reached to the heavens. While Ezra was praying and confessing and weeping and throwing himself down before the house of God, a large crowd of Israelites, men, women, and children gathered round him. They too wept bitterly. The word of the Lord. Lessons from our Bible story. In our previous lesson, King Josiah obeys. We learned that a little boy Josiah became king of Israel at the age of eight. As a young boy, King Josiah thought he and the Israelites were obeying God. But he learned later from the priest that he was disobeying God. He tore his clothes when he realized his disobedience and decided to start obeying God. In the same way, when we do bad things and we realize our mistakes, when we confess to Jesus, he will forgive us and help us do the right things. In today's story, Ezra teaches God's people. When Ezra arrived in Jerusalem and he saw how the people had disobeyed God by marrying idol worshippers, he wept and he also tore his clothes like King Josiah. He confessed their sins to God. The people also confessed their sin and made a plan to repent. They turned to God and obeyed him. Ezra loved God's law and wanted the people to love God's law too. Do you love God's law? Guys, do you love the word of God? Do you take time to study it? What would you love to teach or tell others about God? When was the last time you shared something about God? When we share God's word with others, our friends and family, 
It can be grandma or grandpa or uncles or aunties or cousins. They get to know the bad things they are doing, things that do not please God. They are able to change and God blesses them. And God blesses us too for sharing his word. He blesses us with so many things. Guys, who is going to share God's word today or tomorrow or any day? I know I will and I know you will too. We can share God's word at any time. May God give us the courage and the wisdom to share his word as little children so that other people can also turn away from their sins and receive the blessings of God. Guys, have you spoken to Jesus today? Jesus is here and he's at all places at the same time. And he wants to hear from us at all times. You know, he doesn't get tired of hearing us. He wants to hear from, from us in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night. At all times, no matter where we find ourselves, kitchen, hall, bedroom, toilet, every place, Jesus loves to hear from us. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to see a new day. We thank you for the word we've received. Please give us the courage, give us the wisdom to share with others your word, to share with them your love, as Ezra did. Help us to also obey your word and do everything you've asked us to do in your word. We thank you for our nation, Ghana. We thank you that this year is an election year. Please give us a peaceful election and choose for as a leader you would want to lead this great nation. As we go throughout this week, please keep us, preserve us, keep us, protect us, and be with us in all that we do. In Jesus' name, have we pray. Amen. to do it how many of us how many of us okay if you are not able to do it not a problem do not worry you have a second chance to call them of course with the help of mommy and daddy i want you to call them your friends your cousins and loved ones it can be aunties uncles grandma and grandpa and share with them the love of god share with them the word of god you've learned from here you can tell them that jesus is coming again and he's preparing a beautiful and a wonderful place for us and you want them to be a part of it so you can share with them that and then that, that is the activity for this week and i trust you're going to do it we'd love to go over our song we learned early on our generation you remember okay let's do it ready 
go. Our generation shall praise your name. 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 My, my generation shall praise your name. My generation shall praise your name. My generation shall praise your name my generation shall praise your name don't forget to praise the name of the lord every day once we have life it's his gift it's his grace towards us so every day when you wake up don't forget to praise the name of our lord i hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you learned something new god bless you so much for tuning in today i'll see you next time Bye bye Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Yesu, my friend, downfall. <laughs>